King Cobra vs Mongoose, who would win in a fight? This topic has always been very unclear on the internet. There are so many videos with the same title but the snake shown is never the King Cobra. Today I shall clear this confusion. Now. Let's start with some basic facts. The King Cobra, despite its name, is not a true cobra. It belongs to the family Elapids. These guys are found in Asia, and depending on the region, these guys come in different colors. The mongoose is a small mammal belonging to the family Herpestidae. There are total 34 species of mongoose. They are primarily found in Africa. Some species occupy parts of southern Asia and the Iberian Peninsula. They are generally terrestrial mammals, but some are semi-aquatic, and others are at home in the treetops. Now. Let's talk about their physical characteristics. The King Cobra is the longest venomous snake in the world, reaching lengths up to 18 feet and weighing about 9 kgs. They can lift up to one third of their body. The King Cobra is equipped with neurotoxic venom. They can also pump a large quantity of venom. A single bite from the King Cobra can kill an elephant. King Cobras also have a very powerful bite force. The mongoose, depending on the species, range in size from 7 inches to 2 feet and their tail measuring from 6 to 21 inches long. They can weigh up to 5 kgs. These snake mammals have long bodies with short legs and tapered snouts. They normally have brown or grey gristle fur. Some species have striped coats or ring tails. Mongooses have long non-retractable claws that helps them in digging burrows. They also have an anal scent gland. Now, let's talk about their diet. The king cobra's diet consists primarily of other snakes like cobras, crates, rat snakes, pythons, vipers. You get the idea. They also hunt and devour monitor lizards. And sometimes, they even feed on their own kind. The mongoose, depending on the species, can be solitary or social creatures. They feed on small animals such as rodents, birds, reptiles, frogs, insects and worms. Some species supplement their diet with fruits, nuts and seeds. They are also known to break open birds' eggs by throwing them with their forepaws towards a solid object. Some species of mongoose will boldly attack venomous snakes such as cobras. These guys depend on their incredible speed and agility, aiming at the head of the snake and cracking the skull with a powerful bite. Mongooses are bitten occasionally. However, they have some resistance towards snake venom. Now. There are so many different species of mongoose. So for this fight, I shall be picking the biggest mongoose species that are famous for hunting deadly venomous snakes. The Indian Grey Mongoose and the Egyptian Mongoose. So. Who wins the fight between the king cobra and the mongoose? Well, here's the thing. A mongoose would easily take down a cobra, but never a king cobra. King cobras are the longest venomous snake in the world. An 18 feet king cobra can lift 6 feet off its body. So a mongoose won't simply be able to reach the king cobra's neck. Also, the king cobra isn't your normal cobra. They are quite bulky and very strong snakes. So a mongoose will have to first pin the snake down and bite really hard at the king cobra's thick neck. But seriously, I don't think this would happen. I mean, just look at this picture. I don't think any mongoose would be able to pin the snake to the ground. That's not the only Thing. A mongoose is immune to snake venom, but only up to a certain quantity, and the king cobra can pump a massive quantity, enough to kill an elephant. Not only this, but the king cobra has a very powerful bite force. Since king cobras are immune to their own venom, they have been known to kill other king cobras by brute force. Now. Mongooses are preyed upon by pythons, which is actually one of the king cobra's favorite meal. There is literally no video on the internet that depicts a mongoose taking down a fully grown king cobra. It's because a mongoose would never dare to hunt the king cobra. I found one video where a mongoose tries to hunt a female king cobra's eggs, but backs off when the female wants the mongoose. The persistent little mongoose angers the mother cobra. Towering three feet above him, she has no need to strike. She has made her message quite clear. Note that this king cobra is actually a female and males are much larger. Last but not least, the mongoose might be lightning fast, but king cobras are actually one of the most intelligent snakes. They are very calculative with their strike. Considering all these factors, I would say that the king cobra is the very obvious winner.